Welcome back to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's quick exercise, we're going to be creating this hose port. I'd like to give a shout out to my man Tutal Toby for providing a 2D diagram for this project. Let's get started. Let's create a new component and give it a name. Select the front view and let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the line command and let's use the center line. Add some dimensions. We're going to be using the center line to give us the dimensions we want. It's going to convert these into diameters instead of just one linear distance to the other. I'll demonstrate. Select the line command. I'll create the profile as follows. What I did was just simply mouse over to this point, drag over, I see a constraint here, perpendicular constraint starts here. And I bring it over. I'm gonna lock, start locking this into place. I'm gonna select this point here. And select this point here and constrain them to each other. I'm gonna make the angle between this line and this line 35 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is select this line and the center line, and it's going to give me the diameter between the two as if it was a revolution. And I'm going to add dimensions. And I'll do the same thing for this side here. And I'll continue adding dimensions until it's fully defined. Now the sketch is fully defined. I'll select the revolve command. Profile has already been selected. The axis I'm going to select the center line. And that's the profile you're going to get. Select the top view. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be adding these circles. Create a sketch on this top face. I'm going to create a center diameter circle. Make sure it's a construction circle. I'm going to add dimensions. I'm also going to select the line command, make sure it's a construction line once again. Construct it as follows. And I want to use this intersecting point right here for my center point for the circles. Select center diameter circle, make sure construction is turned off. First circle, I'm just going to add dimensions. Second circle, I'm going to use radius. You can still use diameter if you want to make the conversion, but just for the sake of training, we're going to create a circle. We're going to measure it using the radius. Left click on it, right click, select radius, convert it to radius. Make that 0.5. Now I'm going to use the extrude command. I'm going to be doing this in two steps. I'm going to select the outside just select the bottom. Select the screw command once again. This time I'm going to have to bring back that previous sketch. Select this portion here. Once again, select the bottom. Operation is automatically going to be set to cut. As you can see, it's in red. Now I can turn off that sketch. I'm going to use the center, the circular pattern command. Object type should be set to features. I'm going to select the two previous extrusions we just created. In the axis, I'm going to select the Z axis, which is this blue line here. Quantity should be set to 10. The last portion of this, I'm going to add fillets to the entire object. 
select the filler command, select the entire object, select the fillets to 0 0.03, and that completes your host port. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.